Amen. Praise God. So I learned, man, I've been learning all kind of stuff lately. I'm talking about the Holy Spirit been raining on her, brother. I'm in 4K ultra high definition right now. I don't want to talk about me. I don't want to look good for no female. I mean, sometimes I do. Sometimes, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I try to be, but I just want to worship Jesus publicly with my face shown. So, you know, this brother was the revelation of the witness and the testimony that he glorified God. I'm not ashamed. And so, but the Lord has been really, really, really taking the knowledge, taking the wisdom, and he's really been transcending it. Like, you know what I'm saying? He's really been cultivating uh, roots inside of a brother. I'm talking about establishing his righteous cause, his righteous judgment, his righteous peace, his righteous power in a brother's life, right? And so it's taken over my heart. Now, as it takes over my heart, this light begins to see this light. Before this light would say, well, he's still got a little bit of lust in his heart. But now my heart's like, okay, light, 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 light. So it's all connected. So the word of God is really taking its root. And I want to say it, I want to say him, but the word of God is really manifesting. The word of God is really transcend. Just saw an angel fly by my car. See, this is why I was going to make the video. What I felt on the first part of my conscience, on the first template of my brain cell, holyspirit.com. Angels get excited. I feel, man, I've been feeling so much of God's energy lately. It's just, it's like, I'm trying, you know what I'm saying? It's, ooh, it's just amazing. It's energy. I just release the energy of God to you in the name of Jesus. Read your Bible and you're going to feel it. So angels get excited because they know that when you step on a scene, you're going to make a three hour. The first thing you're going to do is worship God. They're, see, angels ain't looking for part-time Christians. If God sends them, they'll go. They activate when they're called upon, I believe. But angelic angelic powers are not looking for part-time Christians. They're looking for full-time beings that want nothing to do but see the glory of God manifest. Okay, so they like, okay, this brother gonna step on the scene. We know he gonna worship God for an hour. We, gonna, he, we know he gonna make three, three hours of YouTube videos. We know he gonna do this. So they get excited and they surround you because they know as you speak the word of God, as you release the testimony, as you declare the wisdom of Christ, as you unlock the revelation of Jesus, your words start to scatter and they're able to take this word as a sword. They're able to take this promise or this prophetic call and release it. So they're able to begin to work. They're able to get to move in the wind and they're excited because the more you were, see, the more you worship God, the more you stay in a church service and the more you genuinely, it creates energy in the spirit. It creates power in the spirit and, and, and angels are able to come and take those words, take that power, take that energy. Just like when you feed Satan energy, when you spend an hour gossiping about people, when you spend an hour criticizing people, when you spend an hour in your mind worrying that you ain't got enough money, worrying about your life, you are feeding the devil power. So what you want to do, you only want to feed God in the light power. And as you do this, you're going to have angels around you. But the greatest harvest, it's not you prospering, okay? I'm just being honest. It's seeing the individuals around you being transformed by the Spirit of God. It's seeing the people you once knew that were depressed, suicidal, bounded by sexual demons, just d felt insecure. They were ugly. I'm too fat. Just seeing God just manifesting in their heart, in their life, and just seeing the light of heaven begin to beam through their eyes. That is the greatest reward of life. Not for you to get a bunch of money, not for you to make it to the top, to see other people around you, their life changed. And to witness, so when you live a life that truly reflects God, and, and, and lives are transformed, it is better than any weed you could ever smoke. It's better than anything in life. And I'm seeing that, and it's wonderful. When you do that, when you make your life about that, God will make everything about you. That's the secret. When you truly make your life, not mentally, not because you want to, because that's truly what you've become. And the Lord, everything will turn around and it will be all, all about you. All the money's gonna cry out for you. All the clothing and designer clothes are gonna cry out to wear you because they want you to put them on. All the trees are gonna cry out, come to our forest. They just want you to go to Oklahoma just to go in the forest. Everything in life's gonna cry out for you. The angels are gonna say, come to this dimension. This is where God has assigned us. 
Hallelujah. I'm in this place with the Lord that is just, and I don't even want to talk about where I'm at. I want you to go there. But I have to go to work right now, or I have to go to this place right now. It's about time for me to go in there. But just keep watching these videos. I'm going to bring you revelation. I'm going to bring you the wisdom of God. You, in your life, you come here, you stay here, your life will never be the same. I don't care what you think. You are going to have dreams. You're going to have visitations from the Lord. You're going to experience God. The light of Christ is going to come upon you after these videos. And you are in the sea and you are never going to be the same. In Jesus' name, I love you and I release God to you. Amen.